Welcome to this tech snip where I'll show you how to monitor an Azure storage account for new files within PowerShell. For this, we're going to need an Azure subscription and also an Azure storage account. So to get started, we need to obtain credentials and the share name that we want to attach to. This can be done relatively easy by going into the actual Azure portal and looking at your storage account. So you're going to Cloud Shell Storage. I'm using my uh, sorry, Cloud Shell Storage account for this. And you'll see if we go into Files, then if we click on Connect, this brings up all the commands needed. So we, we can see we have PowerShell commands. Alternatively, we do have commands that we can run from the normal command shell and also connecting from Linux. So we copy these commands and we place them into our script. First line we want to run is to assign act key, the actual password, which will convert to a secure string. Okay. And we have our secure string. Our next step is to copy our credentials into the credential variable. And we'll establish these using the system management automation PS credential class with the argument list username and the password we had created in the first step. So let's just run that now. We want to have a look at our credentials. And there you see our credentials for accessing this share. So then we need to connect to Azure. We use new dash PS drive minus name, which is going to assign the drive letter P, the PS provider, which is file system, minus root, which indicates our share. And finally, at the end, we'll use the credentials that we created. So we just run this command and there we are connected to our Azure file share. So the next step, I'm going to create some test data basically five files. And now we're going to get to the actual line of code that will pick up the files that have been created within the last five minutes. So first I'm going to assign a variable older than the value five. Then we're going to use get child item, the parameters minus file minus recurse. And this will gather all the files that we have in our cloud drive. Then we're going to pipe that to the where object and in the brackets there you'll see creation time greater than the present date the property add minutes. Then our variable older than is passed in. Because it has a minus character there this will essentially get all the files that have been created in the last five minutes. So let's have a little look at our list of files and there we have them. So now we want to think about how are we going to output these. So in the first instance we could just output them to the console looping through the collection of results we have using for each and using write host to write them to the console. And there you have it quite simply. Our next method of output you could output these to the Windows event log. Again, we're using for each to loop through the collection of our results and use write event log with the log name that we are writing to called Ipswich. Our source is SNP, our event ID is 2000, our entry type is information. And in the message, we will pass two of the properties, which are full name and creation time. So let's just see this running. We refresh this log. And there you'll see p colon backslash one dot text was created 22nd of July. And finally, another way to output it would be to a log file. So let's create a log file. And again, let's look through our results. This time we'll use add content, the path to our new log file, and the value we'll, we'll pass in again is the full name and creation time. And let's have a look at that log file. And finally, 
we need to go in and actually remove the connection to the Azure Share by using Remove PS Drive. Thank you for watching this snip.